We're halfway through April's raid, and I've already seen at least four or five times the post in the Forsaken Council page asking, what should I get with my points this raid? I'm recording this video. I hope it helps people figure out what they need. Uh, this video will focus exclusively on PvE prizes, so whatever you need to do next raid, to do Forsaken mission, get uranium base parts, titanium, and so on. I will not be covering turrets, uh, conqueror ships, and related components. So let's get started. Priority one, as everybody should know by now, Forsaken mission. Let's first talk about mid-level players. You can get the icebreakers in the regular Forsaken mission. I believe it's on tier three. You can also get some of the components you need in there. But the one thing that's been absent for quite a while and you should take this opportunity to get the flagship for the icebreakers. The Vasago icebreaker is there for 4 million points. It's under garrison and it's very uh, attainable. Then on top of the Vasago icebreaker, you should see if you have all the components you need for a good build. So the first one is garrison battery. You're going to use that for your Vasago Icebreakers. You are also going to use that for Infernal Dragons if you, if you build them in the future. So definitely something you should have. And it's just a million points. Next, get at least a couple uh, Gales. Up to you if you're going to get Gales 3, 2, or 1. They're all the same price. 1.5 million points. Make sure you have a few in stock. Next, high yield warheads. This is a very good special for the icebreakers. It gives them more building damage, more, more splash. Next, countermeasure loaders. This is a special not only good for this fleet, but for many other fleets, you're gonna use that across the board. So definitely get that one, if you can, for 1.2 million points. If you don't have it, downgrade, use countermeasure loaders three, which is also available this raid. Next up, Speed System 6, not only good for this garrison fleet, but for pretty much everything nowadays in the game. And then if you don't have the D100V rocket, you can get the D100S. It's not my favorite rocket for the icebreakers, but it's the second best. If you're a higher level player for Forsaken Mission, you should then look into the Infernal Dragon. This is the top hole if you want to do the top targets in FM and not be stuck grinding tens and tens of targets. It's available for 15 million points. And optionally, you can top it up with the Savage Kodiak, which is under Assault and available for 4 million points. The Savage, you just leave it in the corner with just a gale or anything on it. You don't actually drive it in the target. I have videos showing how you do that, but the Savage Kodiak increases the Infernal Dragon's penetrative resistance, so you will take less damage if you have it. As far as components go, get the Twin Fire Rocket for 9 million points, and optionally the RFX engine. That's not a must-have, as the rocket is, as you can use Speed System 6 instead, but it, it's a nice to have. I Particularly, I use it in my fleet and I'm happy with it. Priority number two after Forsaken Mission, it's the next raid cycle. Next raid cycle is Assault, and by taking care of that, you will also have a fleet capable of acquiring Titanium for you. For mid-level players first, my favorite, favorite haul is the Skyfire Carrier. I prefer it over the Phoenix, but up to you. Uh, the Skyfire Carrier is available for 4 million points. Absolutely get the flagship for extra 6 million points. Uh, it completely transforms the fleet, makes it a lot better. The components you should have, if you can get the points, is Speed System 6. If not, you can always use Speed System 5. Banded Hornet UAV. Uh, unless you already have the Polistas UAV, which is a little bit better. UAV targeting circuitry for 2 million points. Siege Battery 4 for 1.2. If you don't have Siege Battery 4, you can go with Siege Battery 3. Again, Countermeasure Loader 4. You're going to probably use that in only one or two ships, no more than that. So it's a low priority for this particular build. 
and the game has the rate has 10 times one day sky fire build tokens for 1.75 million each i did not list it here because they're expensive but there are generic assault class tokens at 3 million points each i'm just assuming if you cannot get the top price the manticore you probably can't get those tokens either but if you can they'll help you build the flagship the guts fuel skyfire moving on if you're a high level player and you can score good points this raid either alone or with a friend go for the manticore it's the top price 60 million points it will be available again next month uh, probably for a lot less points so the manticore and then you can either wait for the tlc where the missile related components will be released or go for the whole scattergun build and then you get the Pantera scattergun for 25 million the savage cic for 20 million and optionally the roaring barrel system for 15 million if you can't just get the scattergun and the cic because you can actually use existing specials in place of the roaring barrel system and just wait until next month when that special will be available for a lot less highly recommended get agility system 4 you may already have them if you don't it's 4 million points each and you can redeem up to 5 and then get the tokens generic assault class view tokens 3 million points each and uh, you can get up to 10 of them and get your manticores ready for vxp weekend priority 3 uh, either uranium or base parts but the reality is if you look under skirmish this raid there are no skirmish ships available so i'm going to leave uranium to the side knowing that you can get uranium using actually the base parts fleet and hitting dubs or even your icebreakers hitting dubs both can get you there but if you need base parts whatever you're using now to do the raid fleet uh, the siege raid should work i mean if you don't have them get the buccaneer get the buccaneer boom for 11 million points i think it's a must have for anyone using buccaneers get the flagship if you need a component get the cannon the peak accelerator or you can get the better version in forsaken mission next week if you don't already have it and that's it uh if you need help in building the ships i just mentioned go on my youtube channel grand p you can search that click on playlists at the top and then open the how to build ships playlist with that you, you can see videos on how to build inferno dragons sky fires manticores uh, buccaneers whatever you need i hope you found that useful uh leave your comments below uh, whether or not you like to see a pvp version of this video and remember to subscribe to my channel see you next time take care